Happy Wednesday. We're going to pick up where we left off the last time with the Labyrinth of Joy and do some more uh, building. Well, not building really, more decorating and filling with furniture. So please join me and don't forget, like, subscribe, make comments. Please make comments. I would love to hear what you think of these videos and what you'd like to see in the future. So let's get started. This is where we are. I have, <clears throat> sorry, I have filled in all the walls, which I showed you before, but I've also added doors and door frames. Oops, I missed one. That one needs a door. Yes. Okay, because that is a bedroom, not a an open room that you need an archway to. Okay, let's go upstairs. And as I said that I was thinking of doing, I set this up so that this is going to be a bathroom. And this is also going to be a bathroom. Then we've got, so all together up here, we've got four bedrooms. We've got one bedroom downstairs. So this is a five bedroom house. It has a little office. It has a bathroom downstairs. It has a living room and a dining combination dining room kitchen. And <clears throat> we have already done the floor and the walls in this upper hallway. So why don't we start with this bathroom okay this bathroom is going to need some tile on the walls and i'm really not sure what i want here don't want brick i know that and I'm not entirely crazy right now about those. I like those, but I'm getting bored with them because I've been using them over and over and over just as I have these and these and these and those. And there's really not much left that I haven't used extensively. Um, there is plain mar um, marble, I guess black marble um kind of like this more brick some plain square tiles some rectangular tiles pink green white pastel green um let's go with the pastel green i probably will have to buy more That's not a bad color. I try to pick colors that I actually would use. And this one's not bad. It's a little bit lighter than some of the other things that I've done lately. I'm going to need at least one more of these.
Oh, what the heck. Yeah, it's not bad. Get rid of the rest of them. And now for the floor in here, I think I want to go with the dark green version of this, if there is one. Light green. You'd think I would know these colors and names by heart by now. I don't see it. Well, it would help if I knew. Manox. Let's see if it's. Okay, these are all wall tiles. And that's all they are is wall tiles. Interesting. Okay, so we'll go back to the floor tiles <clears throat> and we'll look for a dark green. It would help if I just pick tiles. There's blue, there's green, and there's dark green. Why don't we go with that? It doesn't match at all. That looks like crap. I'm sorry, but it does. Maybe if I go with this one. Yeah, that's better. Much better. Okay, those go together. So we are going to have a sink. I don't want to go too close. I should do it. Now, let's see what happens. That's a little bit easier. Not much. We're going to want a bathtub. Just not sure whether I want to do that. And a toilet over here. Okay, we're all set. Let's do the sink first. We sort of have to um, unscrew it. I always forget this, and then I wonder why it won't work. Might as well do that one, too, while we're at it. Okay, so now we're ready to put in the... bathroom fixtures. We want sinks. I don't know, I like those, but I've been using all these over and over and over again. Seriously sick and tired of them all. Maybe. 
it's simple enough, but I don't like the fact that it doesn't have any. What about that one? That's not bad. Yeah, let's let's look at bathroom furniture. And then I'll pick stuff to go with this. Okay, I think Haiti is one that Where do we want this Via Senna? Is that a sink? Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Um, <clears throat> yes, it is. And we can go for the very widest one. And I think, oh, brown elk, what the hell? Heck. Oh, I think I will use this. <laughs> Brown oak is a good color because it matches all the doors and stuff. So let's grab it. And we'll put it together. The nice thing with these sinks is that you get the effect of having two sinks, but you only have to put in one set of plumbing. And in case you're wondering why I attached the pipe or whatever that is before I open the entryway of the the part that the water goes through, um, it's because otherwise it starts pouring water all over the floor. Okay, so now. Viosena. See what else we've got. Viosena. Huh. That's a shame. No tub. Maybe we'll go with a plain tub then. Let's go back to bathroom fixtures, baths and tubs, etc., etc. Um. Maybe I'll go with this one because it's wood. And it's got brown oak as a possibility, so I think we'll go with that. Oh, come on. I hate this. Why can't you put it up against the wall? Seriously. So really, technically, they've got a shower and a tub, but actually, I'm thinking that's the wrong place for that. I hate to do it, but bye. We'll put it over here. And we will use this one, I guess. No, we want brown oak. Front will be brown. Cream. Yeah. Color is fine. They allow us to have no plastic. We'll go with 
I'm going to go with cream now. Dark brown or brown. Brown. Might as well go with brown. And the details, instead of black, we will have dark brown. Okay. Yeah, I think that looks better there than if I had insisted on putting it there. Now we will... What was the name of it again? Bio. Okay. We want, do we want a wide one? Sure, why not? And we want brown oak. Brown oak. This is the brown oak house. Um. Oh, that's the top. Okay. Yeah, we're blocking the window. Yeah. Go for the narrow one. Brown oak. Brown oak. Why gray? Brown. Yeah, that'll do. But it's still too wide. What if I did it this way? No. Well, this is a very poorly shaped room. All right, how about the shorter ones? There are shorter ones. That's the hanging cabinets. Uh, wasn't there a cabinet, a shorter cabinet? I thought there was one this height. It's even bigger. All right, well, I guess we'll go for the hanging ones. Yeah. Well, let's put it over the toilet. Put a mirror here. Let's go for this one if it comes in. Nah. Let's go with that one. Big one. I don't want black, though. Or should I put two small mirrors? Yeah. 
do two of these. I figured that felt like it was going to be much bigger than that. Actually, we can do that. Yeah. What do you think? That looks nice, I think. Okay. And for now, that's going to be it in here. I will come back to this at a later date to add some decorations. But for now, that's the room. Now we have to do this bathroom but I need to think a little bit. I have added uh, some more windows and I think as far as layout and walls and doors and stuff is concerned, the house is finished. We just have to decorate the rooms now. And I have, we, we did the, I did the, uh, first bathroom yesterday last time I did the first bathroom last time and that would be in here I I don't think this was added originally but this is the first bathroom now we're going to go down the hall and through here and I have tiled the walls here. Uh, the other bathroom was green. This one is blue. I put in the plumbing for the tub and for the toilet. I'm not quite sure where I want to have the uh, sink because this room came out a lot narrower than I intended at first. Uh, when I had it in my head, it seemed much bigger. But we'll go with this. We'll put it together. Okay, there we go. Now we are going to do a, I think I want to keep the, all the appliances simple. White goes nicely with the uh, dark blue. Oops, I don't want lights. I want bathroom fixtures and toilets. I really want something plain and simple. Let's go for that one. Just a white. Okay, so that's that. Now where are we going to put the sink? As if I didn't already know. I guess we'll put it here. That really had no, I guess not. My imagination. Okay, so I guess we'll put the sink here. Installation for assembly. Sink. And that should work. Okay, now we're going to get a sink. Want something simple. I don't know, every time I look at this Tasso sink, all I can think of is the spit sink in a dentist's office. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see, maybe just white? Nah. Uh, maybe I'll just go for this light blue. That's nice. That's not bad. So plain white is not bad. Snowy is okay. Light gray isn't bad. Light. Gray marble. No, that's too dark. Cream. 
That's sort of nice. But I think... That or that. Let's go with the pure white. I suppose it shouldn't have been such a difficult decision. I'm sure there's a way to move things like this after you've installed them without having to sell them. Okay, and we obviously need we need a mirror for above the sink. But do I want no 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 furniture. Do I want this kind of cabinet? <clears throat> Maybe a hanging mirror. I suppose that would work. What's the difference between? Uh, let's try the other one. Yeah, I kind of like that. It's all right. Let's try the triple one. Yeah, let's go, go with the triple one. That's nice. Put a... Accessories, bathroom. Hmm. 60 by 90, not green. Blue or light blue. I like the blue. You know, so when they get out of the tub, they're not just stepping out. Okay, I think that this room is mostly done. May decorate a little bit when I'm completely done with the house. I I was thinking that what I would do is I would do the furniture and the walls and stuff in all the rooms, and then I would make a pass back through and add some decorations and then give you a final tour. So that's where we are. Uh, I think the next thing to do is this bedroom before I do anything else though I want to see okay we can do that Okay, so what color are we going to make the walls in this room? I have to admit that I'm getting a little bored with the colors I've been using. I like that one. I want something light. Bright plum looks nice. Sugar berry. Pink chalk. Pastel purple, baby pink, wild salmon. Well, this is kind of boring. I think I will come back once I've made the decision and painted the room. This bedroom is done. I, again, like I said before, will come back and 
do a little decorating here, there, and everywhere. I think you saw that room. Okay, so in this room, I chose uh, withered rose is the color for the walls. It's rather a pretty pink, but that gave me the problem that none of the curtains really go with this shade of pink. If I pick pink curtains, they clash. It's, it's a weird combination of colors. So I ended up with blue curtains and the wood in all the furniture is uh, deep chestnut. And the furniture is all from the set called Paxon, P-A-X-O-N. It looks like a fairly comfortable bedroom. And we will, as I said, come back and add a few decorations and things. But otherwise, that one is done. Oh, and our friend here is out in the hall now. Um, okay, let's just leave it there i think i think she belongs in one of the children's rooms not in in a grown-up's bedroom but i don't know it's awfully big you may just sell it i just feel funny about selling it i don't know why i do but i do okay so this is going to be another bedroom and i will come back once i have finished it and we started off with a bunk bed Nice shades of green there. Uh, we've got a dresser with dinosaurs on it. We've got a, another, actually this is a wardrobe. This is a dresser with dinosaurs. Nice little desk. I moved the cow in here. I don't know if he'll stay or not. She'll stay or not. Um, this is a something for them to crawl through tunnels. I don't know. Anyhow dark green curtains on the walls i mean on the walls on the windows and i did this little star light for above so this room is this room is now done except of course for decorations which i will come back and do at the end so that's two bedrooms down and now we're going to start on a third one. I think this also should be. Maybe not. Maybe I'll make this the master bedroom. I've got this bedroom. And I've got this bedroom. This one, I think, will be a children's room. This one will be the master bedroom. And then we've got downstairs we've got a bedroom as well so but let's not get ahead of ourselves this is the next room to do and i will be back when i've finished it this is bedroom number three another child's room although i still isn't considered a child's room interesting certainly big enough um I guess I need more toys. Give it a shot. How about this? Now it's a children's room. Okay, so this is a children's room. Everything is based on yellow. The uh, paint color is cold called banana cocktail the uh, furniture comes from the children's set uh, sets of furniture the wood in these cases in all cases here is cedar the floor is a yellow wood pattern and we added this nice little rug here not sure that I entirely like this over this overhead light, but it'll do for now. We need to move on to the fourth bedroom up here, which will be a grown-up's bedroom. 
And let's get to that. Oh, are you ready to see bedroom number four? This is going to be also a child's room so that we will have three children's rooms in this house. And I've used the mountain or wood cre woodland creatures, I believe, um, wallpaper here. And let's see if I can find it. I should have, I suppose I should have written it down, right? Uh, where are you? Okay. Kit, forest animals is what it's called. And I used the forest animals on the wall and also on the uh, furniture. This item is from the workshop. It's a kid's play tent. I thought that would be fun to add. Uh, we've got a train set here. Um, various stuffed animals around the room and some blocks so that is the fourth bedroom upstairs we're done upstairs now and the next step will be to start the rooms downstairs uh, i guess that's pretty obvious but anyway i will be back in a few moments I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the attic, by the way. Um, I don't think I showed you. I actually um, paneled. I did the floors. It's funny. It now looks like it goes all the way to the edge. Anyway, it's just plain wood. And not sure what I'm going to put up here. I suppose I could put another bedroom up here. This is random. <clears throat> I had painted the tops of these window frames when I first painted this room. All of them. And now there's one that, oh my, hasn't been painted. Really? And this is not the first time something weird like this has happened. Um, when I first started this place, the first thing I showed was uh, doing this hallway, putting wallpaper up in this hallway. And the next time I came back, there was a hole here above this door. There was a missing, um, there was a missing lintel. It was just a hole right through. So I had to buy a pack of this wallpaper and I had to buy a pack of this and fill it in. Why? Yeah, who knows? And unfortunately, I saw somebody else who I follow have something even worse happen to their uh, build <clears throat> where they went back and all of the progress was gone. In fact, not only was all the progress gone, they were probably closer to a totally empty build than they started with because they had bought a property that had a house on it and extended the house. I shouldn't say they. Well, yeah, I'll say they. I don't want to say who it is. It's not fair to talk about someone else's YouTube videos. But I really felt sorry when I saw what had happened. <clears throat> now, I, when we last left off, I had shown all four bedrooms, I believe, but just in case, I'll uh, reshow the last one that I did. Um, in fact, I'm positive I showed you this bedroom. So we've got this children's room. We've got a regular single bedroom. We've got this children's room. And we've got this children's room. So we have three children's rooms and a, an adult bedroom. And the first thing that I did downstairs was to uh, finish this bathroom off. And I think it looks really nice. Um, I like these tiles. I like the light, airy feel. 
not that I guess bathrooms are airy, but I like the fact, I like the shower, I like the mirror, I like the windows. Yeah, I'm satisfied here. And then out here we did a um, an office, which the game insists is a storage room. Why? I have no idea because there's not even a bookcase in this room. All there is is a desk. A desk and I, I'm not sure if something is missing that would make it into an office. But there's one thing I can think of. If I could remember, let's see what the... No, I didn't make a, a list of the furniture, but um, the word that was used. But there's a nice little office corner shelf, and I'm wondering if that'll make a difference. Storage. And it's this one. I rather like this. Um, ash cedar. Yeah, it's not too bad. Let's fill in the inside with the same thing. Still a storeroom. I don't know what else it needs to make it into an office. It has the desk lamp, it has the desk, it has the office chair, has a computer in it, it's got a picture, it's got a rug. But anyway, this is the office. You know it's an office, I know it's an office, even if the game doesn't know it's an office. I think the next thing I'd like to do is this second bedroom down here. This will be the master bedroom. And uh, so it's going to need a big bed and some good furniture. And I shall return momentarily. Okay, so I misspoke myself. We're not going to do any more in today's video. Uh, we'll finish off the house on Friday. In the meantime, as I said at the beginning, like, share, subscribe, and comment, please. Love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.